and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to fix these very long grown out roots um, and I have left it for a couple months. I think the last time I bleached my hair was in February of this year. Uh, so I wanted to get my hair back up to scratch again before I go out on vacation in a couple of weeks. So today I'm going to use the Egora Vario Blonde, of course. I've been using that for all my videos since I moved to the UK. I've got a bit left of my 30 vol developer here, which I'm almost out of, so hopefully it lasts the whole video. Um, I'm going to be adding my Olaplex to it as well. And I bought this Josh Wood Color Shade Shop Plus in Icy Blonde that I want to add to the bleach mix as well. In order to prepare, I have added coconut oil to my hair and I've taken off all my metal jewelry uh, and it's been on for maybe about an hour now, I think. Um, and so I'm just going to go through and uh, bleach my roots out. And hopefully, because my hair is actually quite orange, because that was the last colour I did it, uh, I'm going to try and bring it down to pull most of that colour out as well. And we will see how successful we are and to what colour I get to go next. Alright, so if you're interested, keep watching! So I'm going to take maybe two scoops of the Agora Varia Blonde Plus. It says it has up to seven levels of lift. Um, and it is blue, but I do find that I'm still quite yellow afterwards. So I've got my little thing here. So as always, I recommend you wear a shirt that you're not so worried about. So this is my Cats Are So In Right Meow shirt that I've had for years and years. And is just covered in bleach and hair dye. So I'm going to take two scoops of this. actually smell that bad. Oh, I'm getting low though, like you can see I've hit pan. Mm. And then it says for uh, to add in double, so I need to add four of these, so hopefully there's enough. I do have some 20 vol as well, but this is all the 30 vol I have left. Okay, so as you know, you're not supposed to use any metal with bleach, so I have a little plasticky whisk and for your Olaplex, you're supposed to completely mush this together and then add your Olaplex. So I'm just going to whisky whisky up this concoction until it is the right consistency. And because we're doing a root touch up and not an all over, we kind of want it to be thicker, but I think I may have added too much developer to get it to the right thickness. So it's mixy mixy. It's like a thick pudding. We would call this stiff peaks if it was egg whites. I'm just trying to get all the lumps and bumps out. Oh, so this is what it looks like. So take off the lid. Alright, so now we're going to add a sixteenth of Olaplex, which is about this much. So there's not a huge amount in there. Yeah, it says for one to two ounces, which is 30 to 60 grams of lightener powder, add one sixteenth of an ounce. So you just smush this, you squeeze it, and that's it. And then you just add it in very good i'm gonna add in this joshwood color shade shot in icy blonde all right now i've never added this joshwood stuff before so hopefully i haven't just done the wrong thing but we'll find out so wipe it on your pants Alright, so I'm going to go from the front to the back because it's the easiest way to do it and then maybe at the end I'll take you into the bathroom and I'll show you how I do my roots when I have multiple mirrors because I only have the one mirror just here. And yeah, so 
put on your favorite show or podcast and let's do this. to wrap it in tin foil, leave it in for about an hour. Ah, I'm gonna leave it in for about half an hour and then I'm going to pull it down a bit further over uh, where the ready orangey bits for my regrowth are so that I don't get a demarcation line. And then um, I've got this much left. Then I might mix the last little bit that's left in there with some shampoo and I'll bring that through everything for the last like five to ten minutes and then when I wash it out it should hopefully all of the yellowy tones should be gone from the orange. Alright, so I will see you when I next do my uh, the next blendy bits. Okay, sorry my bathroom fan is quite noisy but we're back. Do you like my cone head? So it's been half an hour since I put this on. Ooh. Well, look, I'm beautiful, guys. Beautiful. So, I want to go through it now um, and bring it through the tops a little just to try and mesh that demarcation line. Make sure it's all looking snazzy and good. Um, and then I want to add some shampoo. What am I going to add? I think I'm going to add some of this Ultimate Blends shampoo um, and then I'm going to bring it all the way through and that should hopefully lift out all the direct dye that's still in there and we should end up with a nice blank canvas. Alright, so uh, let's do that. So you can see there's kind of some like darker lines there so I'm just going to bring it down. Just like this. And yeah. That's basically it. It's gonna go section by section. I think the back is what I'm most worried about because it went on so much later than everything else. Um, but what I'm going to do now is mix the remainder of the bleach, which I'll admit isn't a hell of a lot, but that's what we want. We want it to be really, really light for when we put it on the ends that are quite bleached. They've been bleached a bunch of times, let's be honest. So, so what I want to do is I want to add a bunch of this 
to this. Yeah, making sure it's shampoo. And I'm just going to mix that together. All right. Now that's super for me, and it looks like this. And it smells kind of like honey, but kind of also gross like bleach. Now, the next step of this whole transition from color to color is to then mush that right through all the ends um, to make sure that all of the color gets lifted out. And then you want to leave that on for like 10 minutes and then you want to wash it all out in the shower. So, nice and warm, oh, super warm. So you can see the difference in color. And so I just want to bring that through the ends Make sure that we're all happy, happy, happy. Nice and simple. And just like everything else, we want to get in. Tin foil to keep the heat in to help it process. So we'll put this back on. Ta okay, so I'm out of the shower. This looks kind of thing. I, I shampooed out the bleach, um, and I haven't looked at my hair yet. But I'm a little worried about it. So after we reveal, we're going to be using the T14 toner from Wella, which is in Pale Ash Blonde, which is the only toner that I really have at the moment. And I'll probably use about half of one of these bottles. And I've got some 20 volume developer here from Sally's to mix with it. And I will pop a little bit of my Olaplex number one in and then I will add the Olaplex number two after shampooing out the toner before I shampoo and condition. Hopefully my hot water lasts long enough to complete this journey. All right, so let's see what we have. Oh, okay, so my roots are so blonde. The bleach bath on the ends, maybe I didn't leave it in long enough because they are still super gingy. But of course they were orange to begin with, so it's not like it's a whatever. Losing hair. I'm very impressed. But it, it does feel a bit delicate because, you know, your girl's always a bit delicate. But I'm very impressed. I think I've got some dark spots at the back, but I don't care about the back because I can't see it. So, let's, where did I just put it? Let's tone this bish. Oh, this is 42 mil, so I just want half of that. What's that, 21 math? And then I'm going to want double of this. 48, so a little bit over, but math. And then I'm going to add some Olaplex. I'm going to put in 1 16th again. And that's what that looks like. Not that you can really see it. Oh, oh I breathed it in. Rookie mistake. And then we just want to like smush that around quite a brown toner. I've usually, I've only ever used the T18 before, so this is my first time ever doing this with T14. And as usual, the more you mix it, the more jelly-like it becomes. Mm. 
<laughs> so, I'm now going to apply this to my hair. I'm trying to be as gentle with it as possible. And we shall see how this goes. So I've applied the toner, it's going super ashy, super silvery, so I wish I'd gotten all of the ginger out of my lengths before I put this on. <laughs> but I've put it all through the lengths. Um, I'm hoping that the 20 ball developer in there will help lighten it out as well. Uh, and so now I'm going to leave this on here for about 20 minutes and then wash it out, shampoo it, and then put some um, level uh, number two all the plex in it and then wash shampoo and deep condition the ever life loving life out of my hair because bleach days are hard days <laughs> okay so i'll see you guys when i get out of the shower and we can have a look at what the final result of today's experiments are all right see you soon hello so it is the next day and this is the final look uh, that we managed to achieve. So my roots are super silvery from that toner. Um, super blonde. But the bleach bath didn't quite pull out all of the orange pigment. So my hair is quite yellow from about here downwards. Which is interesting. I've never <laughs> really had that before. Um, but I think honestly this is my best bleach job to date. Like it looks really good. And I think my roots are legitimately platinum this time. And then it's just the rest of the direct dye through the rest of my hair that's like making it all yellow. But I think this is a perfect base uh, for whatever I want to grow next. So if hair dyeing videos is your thing or you love to watch people bleach your hair so that you don't bleach your hair, then I would love it if you guys would subscribe. It would mean the world to me. I'm really enjoying doing these videos and sharing the kind of fun, crazy hobbies that I have with you guys. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.